The Neurology Residency Program at Mayo Clinic in Florida has one of the highest reputations in the Southeast. Residents here are trained to succeed and to become future leaders in neurology practice, education, and research. Mayo Clinic offers outstanding facilities and resources, the most advanced technology, and a diverse patient population, including complex and rare neurological disorders sent from across the state, the nation, and the world. Our residents are exposed to a wide variety of clinical situations and subspecialties and have a lot of different opportunities to participate in patient care and even research. We have every major subspecialty of neurology represented and available for elective rotations. We also have a very strong international health program, which really sets us apart. In each year, there are built-in didactics to help build a strong foundation in neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, and neuropathology to help build a deeper understanding of neurologic disease. The residents will have the opportunity to see challenging cases that really force them to think in a systematic manner to elicit a diagnosis. I'm really not convinced that it's progressive. But as part of that workup and part of the evaluation, we incorporate a number of other teams. So we work very closely with neurosurgery. The residents get to know our speech pathologists quite well and the therapists, physical therapy, occupational therapy. Some patients also benefit from palliative medicine, and so the residents have an opportunity to see a variety of disciplines working together. We have many resources for education here. We have daily lectures from different subspecialists. We also have available weekly neuro-oncology lectures, epilepsy conferences, looking at the surgical cases. So the learning plans are individualized based on what your interests are. We have seven electives. And so if there's an area that you're interested in learning more about, you can choose to do an elective in that. No matter what field they may want to go into, some were interested in possibly pursuing epilepsy or uh, Parkinson's disease, movement disorders, stroke, anything. They really support kind of where you want to go in neurology. Uh, you're an integral part of the team. Um, you're not just a note writer, you're not just hunting down outside records, you're doing procedures, you're adding ideas, uh, you're in the conversation. The patient population you see here is not your run-of-the-mill patient population. People know that when there's a problem that can't be solved in the community, or even after several different visits with alternative uh, institutions, that they can feel comfortable coming to Mayo Clinic and that we'll have an answer for them. We need to go back and talk to the patient and make sure that the type of seizure that he's having now is the typical seizure that happens outside of the hospital. So I think for incoming residents, uh, that's a, a special vantage point for them that will give them that extra edge of learning at maybe one or two steps higher than alternative institutions. When you start digging into more complex um, cases, it really opens up the potential for learning. There's so many facets from just one case that you can learn about that your learning is happening at an exponentially greater basis. Mayo Clinic has long been known for its three shields, patient care, education, and research. There are residents who are interested in participating in research with the faculty, and they have that opportunity. There are residents who are interested more in the practice of medicine, and we have experts who are willing to teach residents about that as well. And then there are residents who already have determined a subspecialty focus, even early in residency, and the faculty are excited about teaching our residents. Mayo it just continues to expand, and that's one thing that I'm so excited to be a part of. Getting the new cyclotron, getting the Destination Medical Center building uh, with our oncology partners is big for us as we continue to grow uh, many fields including uh, multiple sclerosis, neuro-oncology, etc. The Mayo Clinic has been rated by U.S. News & World Report as number one in the nation. And I think people see that. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that we're also located in sunny Florida. Jacksonville area really is just a great place to live. We have fantastic weather. We've got some of the most gorgeous beaches uh, in the country. We've got professional and semi-professional sports teams, the arts, food. It really is a fantastic place to live and a great place to train. So when I was interviewing for residency, I had the opportunity to go to many different uh, hospitals and um, I was lucky enough to match uh, here at Mayo Clinic. I would rank this program number one 
This program exposes you to a very complex uh, neurologic population. Uh, the opportunities for research are great. The clinic training is fantastic. The faculty support, the research support, the facilities. So I think that this is a superb program. Great place to practice medicine.